with SMU going into the transfer portal and looking for a safety, this is a name that really made a lot of sense. And there were a lot of opportunities for SMU to go out and address this position with other players, but they go out and land Jaden Milner Jones, a former DeSoto standout who won a state championship. And then days later, flipped from SMU to Colorado to go play for Deion Sanders for a year in kind of one of those deals where, look, Craig Niver left at the time um, and, and SMU had some changes on the coaching staff after that first season of the Rhett Lashley era. And he just slid over to go play for the Buffs. And, you know, being a Dallas area guy, we've seen SMU go out to a Colorado school and bring, bra bring back a Brandon Crosley from Colorado State, but this time they go to Colorado to get Jaden Milner Jones. He has four years to play three seasons remaining, and that's because he played 12 games for Colorado this this fall he, and started one against Washington State. So a much kind of different player coming in in terms of experience for SMU. He notched 25 tackles with 19 solo tackles, so impressive in the open field with three pass breakups. And he really came on late in the season. Uh, 19 of those tackles coming in the final five games of the season. If you look at Colorado Twitter, this is a guy that a lot of people were upset about leaving. You want to bring in guys who stick around and develop. And when you see true freshmen get on the field early, that's a good sign if you're looking at the long-term development. So he was, in my opinion, underrated as a recruit coming out of high school uh, before he flipping to Colorado and, and still ended up underrated in terms of recruiting rankings, but he could play. And I think for SMU, you bring him in and the goal is to have him potentially play all over. He could theoretically play nickel. He could play safety uh, and any of the spots in the safety group. Scott Simons could see him in. And, you know, SMU really had this one lined up for a minute. He officially visited SMU last month and, we reported on it. If you're on the on the Pony Express, you can get that inside scoop. And people were asking, well, what's the deal? Why hasn't he announced? What's next? And it was because, look, SMU has a veteran safety group. And you don't want to chase off a guy because you bring in somebody who played 12 games and started a game for a Pac-12 team last season to that position. So he announced on Tuesday right after the – or yeah, announced on Tuesday or Wednesday right after the transfer portal window closed or at least SMU knew – they weren't going to be losing any more players to that position. And I like this pickup. I've been a big Jaden Milner Jones fan. He did it all for DeSoto and, and really played some of his best football late in his high school career. Big kid. So it made a lot of sense to me when I saw he was you know, playing a lot for Colorado this year. And, and I flipping late, it, it was kind of the hot button discussion on the board for this one with the way it kind of went down where he had won the state title, he was going to sign with SMU. And then I think he had SMU gear on and took it off and put on the Colorado. So it was a big show. And look, sometimes it might not be viewed as a mistake. He played a ton for Colorado, but you realize, okay, I'm all the way out in Colorado. Maybe I want to come back home and, and play for SMU. And so they welcomed him back with open arms. And this is a pickup that made a lot of sense. And if you're looking at the safety room, the long-term future of it, very secure. Next year, you'll have Ahmad Moses and Isaiah Wachobia back. You'll lose Brandon Crosley, CJ Sanders, and Jonathan McGill. Jaden Milner-Jones will have opportunities to step up in that role. And you have three safety com safety commits in the class of 20 2025. You signed Jalen Moses, signed Kadavian Dodson Walker. Kyron Chambers can play there. Abdul Muhammad had a nice spring. Scott Simons, Ricky Hunley recruiting this safety room has been a really, really nice development for SMU. And we're seeing that with some of the relationships that they've built and able to get that room buttoned up really early on in this 2025 class as well. So a really nice pickup in Jaden Milner Jones to get him on board and one that made sense from the get go. And it was just a matter of time before he jumped on board and committed to the Mustang. So what's next for SMU in the transfer portal? This is where things get interesting because they're down to a couple of scholarships left. Uh, with the uh, transfer portal window now closed, they have an idea of who's in, who's out, and and players that they maybe were monitoring. They know now that you're done seeing new players enter. You can finalize that last bit of your board and go after players. And we're going to see SMU address the offensive line. 
They've addressed the defensive line. They've addressed the safety room. We've seen them bring in some other pieces that are kind of best available takes and that's still going to be on the table it's always on the table for smu they do a nice job of saying hey where can we address positions with a really solid player that can help us long term you look at what they did with brashard smith as a prime example uh, this this uh early window uh bringing him in and getting him in for spring ball people were saying you know do they really need another wide receiver running back gadget well when you have a kick returner like that yes you do uh you know, you have the opportunity to bring them in, you do it. And again, you look at what SMU brought in on the defensive line, kind of the same thing with Jared Harrison Hunt. So SMU now can turn their full attention to the offensive line. And if you're on on OnThePonyExpress.com, we drop the notes on who's coming in town. And it's kind of an offensive line party in a weekend uh, that SMU is hosting as they look to solidify that offensive line for the 2024 season. 